We're back <coughs> from the Flying Can Ranch at Cedar Creek, Lake Texas. Earlier I did a uh, tabletop review on the Humorex Glock Gen 3 blowback BB pistol. So I've got it all loaded up, the CO2 is in it, and we're going to set this camera down. I'm just wondering. Ah, I think we're good right I'm going to try to expand that a little bit. Let's see if I can get this down there where you can see everything. I think that'll work. We're good to go. Let's go have some fun. I'm going to try some right eye shooting. Let's see if that's good to find out. Oh, oh, oh. be about uh, 25 yards back. These are good about that range. And then uh, we'll start with the uh, Humorex Steel BB. I really think I um, well maybe I didn't I thought for a second I kicked a hole into this metal can but deceptive alright we're going to load it up with the um, <coughs> Blackwood Ocean keep on moving I should do a little better with my right eye
Let me knock that bottle back down. I can't believe I actually hit this. This guy right here. Had to aim really low on it and hit, hit right there at the top. And, um, wow, that's crazy. So we're staying on that one, we're staying on that one. Uh, we've hit the metal can twice, still no hole in that. So, start it up, do it again. Go back to the, uh, you're right. Thank you. I know by experience about three, maybe four max, so we might start dropping down a little bit. I'm going to press the talk in. I just need a whole loop. Before we get going, I want to move this in over a little bit. I'm not sure where I got that the second time. Wow, it looked like it. And jacked it up. Here we go.
Yeah, she's starting to roll out now.
That really amazed me that I ran that many mags. Now, I got to where I was loading the sections of 12. We didn't jam anything up, but we're still rolling. Look at this metal can. It definitely had put some serious dents in it, but I didn't see anything that really went through. I did have a hole up here. Maybe I caught on the top and it blew through, but I don't hear anything in it. This guy, uh, you know, I got it there. And then if I rotate it, it feels like I got it again right down there. So I don't hear a BB rattling around in it, but I don't see anything coming out. So this guy is, is riddled up, hitting pretty good, exits very well. And as you can see here, I just got a pretty good gape on that can right there. And again, they came right out. The bottle, hard to say if it went into it, but it dang sure flipped it around. So, that being said, and again, I didn't mean to bore anybody to death with that. Um, I was just really surprised that I was getting that many shots um, or that many mags to roll. So, so there it is. The Humorex Glock 17 Gen 3 blowback. My opinion, <coughs> I can't really find anything about this particular air gun I don't like. It would uh, be a good training pistol if you have the actual Glock 17. Um, when you release the slide, the very first shot is a little crunchy. After that, it flows pretty good. So I didn't have a real problem with it. Um, I was shooting a lot with my right eye, and I seemed to be doing pretty good. That's the Gen 5 right ahead of it. But um, uh, a good thing to train, you know, again, people that's never handled a handgun and uh, be a lot more safer option. So I'm real, real happy with it. So um, it'd be a good thing for anybody's collection. Again, it's a plinking gun. It's not a, it's not a target gun. As you can see it didn't puncture a hole in the can. I, I wouldn't really try to hunt with it. If you're close enough or whatever, you might get a rat or some kind of a pest, but you know, it's not really designed for that. It's designed for training. It's designed that if you have the real gun to familiarize yourself, you don't spend so much on ammo and learn your trigger control and your sight control. And, and just generally for someone who wants to have fun. So. That's how I'm going to wrap that up. That's how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch. Uh, Got to go see the tax lady here in a little bit. So have fun.